Hello, welcome to What Does YOLO Mean To Me? My name is Etty Betty and I play the role Yasmin in the YOLO TV series. And I am your host for today. You see this, your yellow hair? You must change it with immediate effect. Then you know I'll die. Uh -huh. You know we black OGs, we don't tolerate such things. I mean, what is this? Then you know I'll change it. This kind of dressing, you need to dress decent as a woman. Latest by this week, you must dye your hair. Anyway. Here on What Does YOLO Mean To Me, we get to meet you, the fans, to discuss what the YOLO TV series really means to you as an individual and the impact it has made on your life, as well as touch on a few adolescent sexual reproductive health issues which were highlighted in the YOLO TV series. Remember, you can enjoy a good life by sleeping under an insecticide-treated mosquito net to prevent malaria. Also, to enjoy a good life in this COVID-19 era, always wear your face mask, wash your hands with soap and the running water, do not hug or shake hands, use your sanitizers, avoid touching your face and your mouth, ensure a physical distance of about two meters between you and others when in public, and avoid overcrowded places. So here with me, I have five individuals and I'll let them introduce themselves and tell us why they love YOLO. Hi, I'm Nana Khadija, 18 years of age. And uh, I like YOLO because it's um, very fun and quite educative. My name is Sujesu Khadija and I'm 19 years of age and I'm a student of Ghana Institute of Journalism, level 100. I like YOLO because it's very entertaining. Hello, my name is Edmond Asari, also known as Eddie Montana, 19 years, and I'm a student of Accra Technical University. Basically, YOLO is a fun and educative program, and it's by far the best educative series on board. And I love it because of its education level. Hello, my name is Ellen Techi. I am 19 years old. I love YOLO very much because it's very educative and entertaining. So today we are going to talk about sexual harassment. Let's watch these scenes from YOLO TV series to have a fair idea of what we are going to discuss. Oh. Finally, some privacy. Expecting someone? No, not really. Then I think you should put your phone away, yeah? In fact, put it on silence because I don't want anyone disturbing us. So, let's take off from where we were last night before your mom interrupts. Wait, wait. We need to talk about this first. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Nah, you seem tense, you know. Yeah, I'm still a little bit jet lagged. Yeah. How close are you to my side? So, what is sexual harassment? Sexual harassment is an act of making unacceptable advances or comments towards another person in any environmental manner. Sexual harassment is an unwelcome uh, sexual behavior which is uh, offensive, intimidating and also very humiliating. Sexual harassment is the situation where somebody makes sexual advances that you don't like at you. Whether touching, talking to you in a, in a way you don't like, because it's sexually. Sexual harassment is when someone asks for sex consistently, but are not willing to give to the person. Have you heard about sexual harassment or do you know anyone who has experienced such acts? When I hear of such, I feel awkward because asking someone for sex without their willing, it's, it's, it's some way. Yes, I've heard of sexual harassment and I know someone who has. It was um, back in SHS. A teacher was interested in her sexually and it was it was very awful because uh, though she was not the one who went through the the punishments but she asked a friend of hers her opinion the friend told her not to accept and she went back to the teacher to tell the teacher her friend said she shouldn't accept and the teacher has so much hatred for her friend so she was affected academically and emotionally also yeah, a yeah. friend told me about someone who had been through that process. After we completed SHS, um, a friend sent out an employment form to an organization and then the candidate went through all the basic requirements for someone to be enrolled in an organization. Um, after some time, she got called, she got a job and then the manager started making advance towards her. And then she, in, the, in her case, it was bad. She had to either 
reject it or accept. And then because she rejected it, day in and then day out, the manager always come in and then making advances towards her. She stopped basically, she quit the job. In any way too, she would have been sacked if she hadn't accepted it. Yeah, I have heard about it and personally I have had numerous experiences because you get to where some people or some guys try to touch you in a funny way. They tell you you are sexy and they expect you to like it all that and you are not like that with the person. Like you are not interested in the topic but the person wants you to play along. Yeah. How would you handle a situation of sexual harassment when the perpetrator is um, senior to you or in a position of power? <sighs> this is serious. <laughs> because um, let's say maybe you are working with um, your boss. It's difficult to come by work now. And this is a situation where your boss is trying to... <sighs> You have only one option, either to quit the job or probably report the, your senior to the senior most. And if it is a school, maybe you have to change the school if possible. And you know very well that when you report the person or the lecturer or whoever and results can be attained, you work at it. Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't tolerate any form of sexual advance and then report it to a person higher than the one doing the act. And then if nothing has been done about it. I think I'll file a document, make it a case and then get solid proof on the sexual harassment being made against me and then get a lawyer who can come in and then help with the situation at hand because if care is not taken, it could lead to rape. Um, if, if it's in a workplace, I, I could uh, report the one senior to me to someone senior to uh, him. And if it's in a school also, if probably it's a teacher, I think I would uh, consult the authorities in the school. If they don't do anything about it, I think I would have to talk to my parents and probably change school. Situations like this, if it should be my workplace, since I feel awkward about it, I'll just quit. Let's listen to what some youth in other parts of the country have to say about the topic. Sexual harassment is when an opposite sex for sex or sexually related acts from another person, from the other person. And it's mostly sometimes it starts with a request and if not, force is applied. But I think someone who is at a higher level than you, a senior or something, it can be forced even if you don't want to do it. So I think prevention is better than actual. So it's better if a senior has called you to somewhere, you go with friends or Something so that you don't get into it. Baby, baby, I'll do anything you want on me, yeah? Feel free. I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Oh, my G! I figure you'd be the rapper, all See the way them pounce you like yo yo. This girl, she not fine, sir. She not fine. Kelly is angry because Yasmin turned him down. Is he right to be angry? <laughs> um, I think Kelly for more. Because basically, Kelly be farm boy. Where Yasmin, you bounce Kelly like that. Why for bounce farm boy like that? Where you self Yasmin, the party you come, you be sick of, zero you come. Where you can, he himself, you know, they man you. Where there wants to be some form of sexual harassment where you they do give him. No? So, try into Kelly come inside you, Kelly be farm boy. So, you for you for boss, say, ah, why are you for reject him? But you they, you they harass um, zero. So, Charlie, you know, fine. No, I don't think Kelly should be angry because um, it's fine if someone doesn't want to talk to you, it's them. So, uh, you should learn to move on from things like this. It's their choice. There's no cause for anger. If you want to talk to someone, the person's not willing to talk to you. It's normal. He, he's not supposed to be angry. Nah, it's, it's her personal decision, it's her choice. She wants to talk to whoever she wants to talk to. If she doesn't want to talk to you, you don't have the reason to be angry. I mean, how? <laughs> Let's listen to what some youth in other parts of the country have to say about the topic. Anna Bona Botley Anna is my name. I'm 17 years of age. I attend St. Mary Senior High School. No, he has no right to be angry. Because maybe Yasmin wasn't in the mood to talk to him. 
or maybe not. He wasn't. Yasmin didn't have time to talk to him. That's why. Right. I don't think Kelly is supposed to get angry, but what Yasmin did is not right because she doesn't know what he's coming to see. But I don't think he's supposed to get angry. Is it okay for a boy to report to the appropriate authorities a girl who is sexually harassing him? And how about a girl reporting a guy? Is it is it right? Whether they are dating or not, do you think it's right for women to say no to men and for men to say no to women? Share your thoughts with us via video or text and send it to all our social media platforms at YOLO TV series and don't forget to drop a comment. Now, who is next on what does YOLO mean to me? Check this out. Hey guys, this is your boy Dilap Agus, aka Odenchem. Join me next week on another edition of What Does Yolo Mean To Me. I've got a lot of topics for you. We are going to talk about pornography. You can imagine. You don't want to miss this. It's going to be fire. So what's that? Is there a porn magazine? A National Geography special. So you have everything you see, you want to keep your voice down. So it's a porn magazine. Where did you get it from? Let's just borrow my bag, we try it. Hey, you know our next class is a con. Unless you don't Mr. Bed to roast you this afternoon, you find someone and hide these things. Hey! Mr. Bed to be nice for you. Yes! Hey! Hey! Charlie! Thank you all for hanging out with us today. It's been great coming your way. I hope you've all learned a few things. Also, to enjoy a good life in this COVID-19 era, we have to be cautious to stay safe. Always wear a face mask, wash your hands with soap and the running water. Do not hug or shake hands. Use hand sanitizers. Avoid touching your mouth and your face. Ensure a physical distance of about two meters between you and others when in public and avoid overcrowded places. Make a date next week for another exciting episode of What Does YOLO Mean To Me? Remember to live a good life. Good life. Live it well. Good life is an everyday thing. YOLO, you only live.